Welcome to this week's episode of Kidlet 6. Each week we get to spend six minutes together celebrating book birthdays, connecting with authors, and discovering lots of great books. As a reminder, all the books mentioned in today's show are listed in those show notes down below. So if you see a book that sounds interesting, you can look down there for all the details. Now let's get started talking about books. Hi, I'm Stacey Nockwitz. I'm the author of The Prince of Steel Pier, which comes out in September. And right now, I have one minute to tell you about some books I think you're really going to enjoy. The first is Pirate Queens by Lee Lewis. This book tells the stories of six powerful women who happen to have been some of the fiercest pirates who ever sailed the seven seas. So if you like nonfiction, this book is for you. The next book is One Jar of Magic by Corey Ann Haydu. This is a sad but ultimately hopeful book about living up to your parents' expectations or not, family secrets, and finding the magic inside yourself. The last book I want to tell you about is One Small Hop by Madeline Rosenberg. This book takes place in the not-too-distant future, and it's a story of adventure and friendship and climate change and bullfrogs. Enjoy. Hi there, my name is Ariane Costner and I wrote Confessions of a Class Clown. This is a book about a kid named Jack who wants to be basically a YouTube star. Um, he loves coming up with fun trends. He loves to be the class clown and make people laugh but no one can see that deep down, he just wants to have a true friend and he has a really hard time making and keeping friendships and he is not quite sure why. So when he needs a sidekick for his latest idea, he goes to the um, speed friendshiping program to try to find someone. And he ends up meeting some really interesting people and they get into all sorts of interesting um, scenarios. It's winds up being pretty funny and he learns a lot. So I wrote this book because um, I wanted to explore how social media can be good, how it can be bad, how it doesn't always represent who people truly are. There's multiple perspectives so you see everyone's different perceptions of each other and I hope you enjoy it. This week's Kid Lit 6 book of the week is Across the Pond by Joy McCall. This is the story of Callie, who has lived in San Diego, and now she's going to be moving to Scotland. She is so excited for the move because she had a bit of a friendship breakup in San Diego, and so she's looking for a chance for a clean slate in Scotland, and she can kind of reinvent herself. As an added bonus, her family will be living in an actual real-life castle. When they arrive in Scotland, things quickly start to go differently than Callie has imagined it. This real life castle that she's so excited to live in, it's actually kind of run down and cold and has lots of critters crawling around. And these new friendships she's dreamed about, she gets off on the wrong foot with one person and then gets nervous about meeting more people. So she asks her parents if she can be homeschooled. They agree on one condition. She has to join a social activity. And so Callie joins the bird watching group. Will Callie begin to feel like Scotland is home and will she make friends? The day a book first comes out is called its publication date, but it can also be called its book birthday. And since that's a lot more fun, we're going to go with that. So let's get ready to celebrate a few of this week's book birthdays. First up is The Edge of In-Between. Lottie lives in a town where the entire world exists in brilliant technicolor. What an amazing place to live. Not only does the world exist in brilliant technicolor, but pretty much everyone has magic, including Lottie. She's able to paint the pictures she sees in her mind and bring them to life. And then she loses her parents and she loses the color she sees in the world around her. She ends up having to go live with her uncle in the gray space between the land of the living and ever after, the land of the dead. Will Lottie be able to get color back in her life? 
Next up is Zara's rules for record-breaking fun. Zara is the queen of the neighborhood. She's the social director. She plans all the activities and she makes sure that everyone has fun. She plans the games. She picks the teams. She makes sure that the kids of the neighborhood are always enjoying themselves. And then a new family moves in and Naomi threatens Zara's rule of the neighborhood. So Zara decides that she's going to get everyone's attention back by trying to set a world record. Will Zara be able to set this Guinness world record? Now, the best way to celebrate a book birthday is by actually reading the book. So head to your local library or your nearest bookstore and pick up your copy of these books today. The smartphones we use today means the rotary phones we used when I was a kid are now pretty obsolete. Do you think you can create your own sentence using the word obsolete? Try creating your own sentence and then share it with us on social media at KidLit6 or put it in the comments below. We also love to hear what you're reading and you can leave a comment down below with what you're reading right now or send us an email at the address listed down below. We hope you have a great week and happy reading.